When a coach is playing guitar and the head coach is having a briefing, then this is the time for lunch break for the young fencing national team during the training camp at the Royal Thai Air Force Academy. Preparation for the Asian Junior and Cadet Fencing Championships. Even the fencing team from Bahrain came to Bangkok to get athletical support and ideas from Willie Cotney. Music during the lunch break doesn't match at all compared to the training session. Head coach Songit Pong Yu pushes the Thai fencing team to the limit. Long jumps to improve explosivity of the legs. After that, music and sport conforming diet during lunch break. Time for the coaching team to brief the training for the second session. Team manager Willie Cotney did set up the coaching team. Head coach Somkit did set up the training program. For each weapon, one coach is having the responsibility. Willie Cotney emphasizes to delegate responsibility. The responsibility of a team manager is uh, to get all the different kind of uh, people, the fencers together, different kind of weapons, to, uh, to work together, to uh, build a team spirit together so that we can achieve a good result at the Asian uh, Championships for the junior and the cadets here in Bangkok. The athletical execution is with head coach Samkit Pong Yu. He is the one who did set up the training program, but got the authorization from the association to take care of it too late. My duty as head coach is to design the training for the whole team. Unfortunately, the time is too short to make an optimal preparation. We have only the weekends to meet, so that I have to emphasize on power and explosivity. The team manager is supported by a technical assistant and physiotherapists. As fencer for Thailand himself, Cotney had to make the experience that important positions in the coaching team were assigned with incompetent individuals. The yeah, responsibility of a head coach is uh, to, to, build, to, to build a good environment for the athletes. So that is why I have a physiotherapist in my project. I have a semi, who is a technician, repairs weapons. I have a six coaches who take care of the athletes individually. I think it's very important to have them, uh, have the athletes like in their environment so that they can feel free and only concentrate on fencing, not on other stuff. Here, they are not going to play tennis, but this is a way to improve coordination as well as concentration. Beneath, it makes fun too. We should also be supported by co-coaches. Cotney has to do a lot of purse rating. Professionals understand it directly. For the others, this kind of teamwork is unfamiliar. Fencing in Thailand can only improve when coaches work together and not against each other. Parents who are interested did understand this already. Even athletes do understand this and know how to value this new team spirit. Cotney, Pong Yu and Co. do know that a change in Thai fencing can only occur step by step. Now, the speed has to be elevated. <laughs>